always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Here's a look at Storm Track Live tonight. You can see high pressure moving off to our east in our next weather maker. It's a complex of showers and storms currently about to roll through the Omaha, Nebraska area. Now, this complex is expected to weaken by the time it makes it here. I want to overlay temperatures with the surface analysis to show you the winds coming up out of the southeast. Strong southerly flow keeping Wichita at 86 degrees at this 11 o'clock hour. And then the cold front that's eventually going to be passing through our area and bringing a brief reprieve from what's going to be building humidity. Let's walk you through future cast. Through tomorrow morning, we should start to see the cloud cover thicken up. Should remain rain free though. As we head into the late morning and early afternoon, areas west of Grand Rapids will see an increasing chance of rain showers. Some of our models coming in tonight try to hold this band together a little better than it was earlier today and deliver some rain showers as far east as areas near or just east of the US 131 corridor. After that main band rolls through, we'll continue to see the chance for some pop-up showers, not expecting an all-day rain event, not expecting a washout. And the interesting part of this is that some of this rain may have a hard time making it to the ground, in part because of southeasterly flow, bringing in drier air. So that's something we're going to have to watch into the day tomorrow. Rain remains a possibility, but heavy rain is quite unlikely. We may even break out some sunshine later in the day, especially south of Grand Rapids. Once the cold front gets ready to push through, we'll see one more band of showers try to survive the trip uh, through West Michigan. But I think by around midday, we should be seeing the rain showers come to an end on Wednesday, and that will lead to increasing sunshine. So despite the chance for rain over the next few days, we're not expecting a washout, and with some of that rain having a hard time making it to the ground, there's a chance that areas east of 131 don't end up seeing any measurable precipitation. At least that's the way it looks for now. So, of course, we'll continue to watch that closely into the day tomorrow. Best chance of measurable rain will be north of Grand Rapids, places like Montague, Pentwater, uh, up toward Ludington. Swimming risk will be highest up there during the day tomorrow as well. We're tracking waves at around two to four feet, likely at places like Holland and Grand Haven, and then one to two feet off to the south. And again, that does come along with the chance for rain with temperatures along the lakeshore uh, in the mid to upper 70s. Here's a look at that three day planner. Independence Day itself actually looks pretty nice right now, mid 80s. We are tracking a chance for rain, especially south of Grand Rapids into the afternoon, but we'll put that chance at about 20% as of now. Your eight day forecast has Overall, pretty seasonable temperatures through this first week of July. Although we do have a few chances for showers and storms in there, there's going to be plenty of time to enjoy the holiday weekend. The biggest thing you'll notice in the next 48 hours is the humidity ramping up on Wednesday, but temperatures are mainly in the Yeah, overall, not too bad. No, we'll take it. Not All right. Thanks, Blake. <laughs> All right.